If you want to learn today about Amazon Q, you are in the right place. Amazon Q is your generative AI power assistant that help you with all of the Amazon services that you have. And it's even help you to integrate to different services like uh, Slack, Google, Microsoft, everything in one place. Think about ChatGPT, just better for your business that interact with a lot of other services, plus all of your AWS services. Now, now you understand what is Amazon Q, really just the beginning of it. And today I will try to give you a quick review of how to set up Amazon Q, what is it, how it's working, and basically try to use the wizard in order to create our first Amazon Q uh, business uh, chat. And as you can see right now on the right side of the screen, anyone who have AWS account already have Amazon Q activated in their account, the playground version that you can start to uh, use and chat and ask technical question that related to AWS or to your difficulty that you have with some of AWS services. And right now I'm gonna ask just a general question and let's see if it's worked with some kind of general uh, information. I'm gonna ask him what are the top five AWS services. Okay, this time it didn't work, but last time that I tried it worked. So let's ask him another question. For example, how to SSH to EC2 instance. And in one more second or two, he gonna answer me with a precise description of how to do SSH to EC2 instance. So now you don't need to go to Google or to ChatGPT. Everything is in AWS console. So stay tuned, we are about to start. Feel free to follow for more amazing tutorials. Welcome back guys and thank you for keep watching. So now I'm gonna start the process of creating Amazon Q application. But before we start, you should have known that in order to actually start with Amazon Q, you need to create AWS organization. I already did it, it's very simple. You just click on the organization and you press another button on O2 and that's it, your AWS account is under root organization. That's it, this is just one of the requirements in order to start working with Amazon Q. And now on the left side, you can see we have user provision and application. We're gonna press the get start. And this is the wizard of creating Amazon Q application. So the first step is to create a generative AI application. Then we have the option to enhance our application. After that, we can customize the web experience, the browser version I'm gonna show you very, very soon, and eventually deploy this web application, this chat, the Amazon Q chat business, and share it with your user. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is entering your application name. It usually generates your name, but you can add a custom name that you want. Here you can choose the service role that you have in order to help you to have permission to use other AWS services with Amazon Q. After that, press uh, create, don't use the tag for now. And it takes usually 30 seconds, but I cut it in the video, so it will be like in a few seconds. And now we are basically on the second step of selecting a retriever. As you can see, we have two options. We have the option to use a native retriever. This is what I'm gonna use. And we have the option to use existing retrieval with Amazon Kendra. The native retriever, the one that we're gonna use, basically open you an option to use inside Amazon S3, web cooler, uh, upload a PDF file or text file for any file basically, and also other 27 more uh, services that you're gonna see uh, very soon. And it's work with index provisioning, provisioning every one index, giving you up to 20,000 documents. So just think about it, one, one, <laughs> one index, 20,000 of files that you can upload. Here you can add the tags, it's not relevant, let's press next. And this is the data source that I'm talking about. This is what make Amazon Q like the biggest uh, chat, AI chat uh, that exists right now because you can enter so many, so many data store, including uh, Amazon S3, web caller, upload documentation, and this is what I'm gonna do very, very soon, upload the documentation. And also you have a cloud option of integrating with other services and also on-prem option if you want to use your own local um, services this is also a good uh, advantage with uh, amazon q that you i have the control of your privacy what you don't have with other ai generative tool and this is some of the cloud uh, data store that you can use as i said slack uh, microsoft google 
um, OneDrive, Gmail, a lot of amazing stuff. And that's it, when we press next, we have the option now to review our application, as you can see, and you can add a, how many applications you want, it's not only one uh, web. And those are the next step, is to enhance the application, create web experience, and display web experience, deploy it, sorry. Now let's review our um, Amazon Q application, so it created successfully, next we're gonna review we're gonna play with a preview web experiment uh, experience, but before that I need to add a new data store, and in order for that to uh, work, I need to have the retriever to be available, okay, the, in order to upload the docs, so Amazon Q will be able to use it, so let's wait a few more seconds until the retriever uh, that we set in the wizard will eventually uh, be available, it will take like a few more seconds, I will cut it in the editing so it will be faster and that's it our retriever uh, index status is uh, active so now we're gonna add the data source and again you can choose from all of those data shows that you have I for this example gonna use only upload document a simple one just to give you a quick review of how you can set up uh, your own uh, Amazon Q. And if you want more complicated uh, data source option, let me know and I will create another tutorial more uh, comparence. Okay, so here I'm choosing uh, three different uh, data source to PDF, my personal schedule. Uh, those data source are used in uh, other tutorial of GotChatGPT, if you guys remember. And this is another PDF with all the YouTube uh, tutorials that I have. So, three file, and I'm gonna upload it. Very simple. There you go. It was very fast. The uh, experience is very um, good and fast. So now let's go and let's do the preview web experience. Let's see what kind of Amazon Q chat we just built. Uh, let's review that. So this is the customized web experience. This is where we can set up our uh, web uh, chat with Amazon Q. You can choose the title of your way, of your Amazon Q. You can choose also the subtitle. Um, you can play also with the welcome messages. And also uh, display simple uh, sample prompt that Amazon Q already generate for us. So I'm gonna check it and I'm gonna save. Okay, so this is the Amazon uh, Q right now, as you can see, I'm gonna ask him just uh, information that I have on my uh, file that I uploaded, for example, what are my plans for 2024. And as you can see, it was able to extract this information and it's also showing you from where he got the information. This is a, a feature that I like, but I think he missed one bullet. Um, let's ask him another question. What is my dog name? It's also set up in the data text. And unfortunately, it's not able to find this information. So I can say that uh, as my experience until now, in this situation, I think the ChatGPT uh, model, the 3.5, it's a little bit more clever than Amazon uh, Q. But again, it's, it's really, it's, um, I'm sure you guys uh, can experience and ask other question and I'm sure it's gonna get better and better and better and better and I'm sure I need to know how to ask the question in order to extract the right information uh, but this is a little bit of the experience of the uh, Amazon Q web uh, service okay and let's go back to the application now let's review our enhance option so you have three options you have the first option is admin control you can basically set up what kind of uh, global control and topic specific topic that you want to control so people won't be able to discuss about next you have the option to add plugin and i'm sure this plugin library will be big but now we have four plugins service now salesforce and two more and now we basically have also the option to document uh, enrichment and you basically can go to the through your document and make it a uh, better configure uh, some lambda function 
ה-basic logic and other enrichment to make your check, your Amazon Q chat better, as I said one minute ago. And in order to use and deploy your Amazon Q, you also need to provision a user, okay? Without a user, you're not going to be able to actually access your uh, Amazon Q. And you need to remember that I think every user uh, costs $20 a month. It's a lot, but it's cheaper than the competition. And once you are happy with your Amazon Q web service, you can deploy it and basically help your business grow with Amazon Q Gen AI. If you want me to create a new tutorial about how to do all the process with deployment, comment below. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and follow to the rest of the video. Please like, subscribe and leave comment below and keep following because I'm gonna release more and more amazing videos about AI, about AWS, about DevOps, about a lot of interesting stuff. Thank you so much.